So the new nation capital of Nusantara, the host of the nation's Independence Day celebrations for the first time this year, first broke ground in 2022. And we want to know how it has developed since, and we're connected with our new team, Satya Pramesi, Esri Rizki, and Hanif Abdu on location of Nusantara. Messi, go on. How has it developed since you've been there as well in 2022? I wasn't the only one who, uh, in, who is currently in this broadcast that uh, was there. In fact, you were also there, Kai, and we have a very interesting story about that, don't we? As, but I'll get to that later in a bit. As you mentioned earlier, it has been, or as you and Hans mentioned earlier, I should say, it has been just over two years since President Joko Widodo broke the grounds of Nusantara at the uh, Dayton Point, uh, which is somewhere in the west, or I should say in the east. We're facing the south right now, so it's in the east. Yes, indeed. Construction has come a long way since then, with President Joko Widodo saying that construction of the whole of Ika and the whole of Nusantara is now estimated to be at 20% with the president, expecting the construction to finish in 10 to 15 years' time, which is well within the target of 2045, which is Indonesia's 100th year anniversary. So... The majority of the construction has been focused in and around the uh, core government center, which you should be able to see behind me right over uh, there where the palaces, including uh, the Garuda Palace itself and the Presidential Palace, um, is located, along with the ministry buildings and Kusuma Bangsa and Sumbu Kebangsaan uh, parks. Now the latter two, Kusuma Bangsa and uh, Sumbu Kebangsaan, were just inaugurated on the 12th and the 15th of August respectively, and the Vice Presidential Palace, which is somewhere further south, which is somewhere further southwest, I should say, uh, was also inaugurated, or rather had its groundbreaking on the 12th of August with uh, Vice President Maruf Amin in attendance as well. All of this is part of phase one of Nusantara's construction, planned for completion by uh, the third quarter of 2024. And of course, as part of President Joko Widodo's visit this week, he inaugurated phase seven of Nusantara's construction with four investors this time around, bringing a total of 4.97 trillion rupiah, which is, or whereby a total of 56.2 trillion rupiah has been invested in Ikaen, equal to about 3.5 billion US dollars with an investment target of, an, of 100 trillion rupiah by the end of 2024, or around 6.3 billion US dollars if you guys are watching from outside of Indonesia. And so overall, uh, Nusantara has come quite a long way since its groundbreaking at Titik Nol at the Dayton Point uh, two and some years ago with drinkable water infrastructure and power grids including underground cables having already been built in the core government area. And of course one key infrastructure that has also already been built in IKN is the network. And so that's a great time for me to bridge which is a uh, bridge into the next segment of this live report which is brought to you by Telkom Cell's latest Hyper 5G broadband network and their 5G live television broadcast technology uh, in which you are able to see high quality broadcasts from this uh, these sunglasses, uh, these smart sunglasses, I should say, uh, along with the rest of our media pool broadcast for the entirety of the 17th of August celebrations. And so I shall put them on right now, and I shall try them on now as well. There we are. Very soon we are about to have the uh, connection from the glasses uh, fed straight into the television screens. And so while we wait, I am going to talk a little bit about more uh, I should say, Telkom Cell's uh, support for IKN with, of course, the support uh, to support the vision of Nusantara Baru Indonesia Maju. Now, what I'm going to do with, it, with you today is I'm going to show you the uh, Ambung Embeha. Obviously, you guys can only see uh, our video journalists right now, uh, Hanif and Dora. But if I, as I turn around, very soon you are going to be able to see the uh, reservoir that we are currently uh, in front of which the uh, footage itself should appear on the studio uh, broadcast sometime very soon as a matter of fact now let me tell you about this Mbeha um, Ambung right now so basically what it is is a reservoir one of 22 that are currently or that have already been built uh, in Nusantara out of 30 that is uh, aimed to be built by the end of 2024 and 60 long term indeed 
So, as you can see, it is quite a nice view, as a matter of fact. You can see a view of the Guru de Palace right over there. You can see some views of the uh, ministerial buildings right over there to the right. And obviously, this being a reservoir and also a park at the same time, there are quite a lot of um, greenery that is, that is here that we can kind of enjoy and pa uh, that we can enjoy, I should say, or perhaps we can do a little bit of picnicking as well. And so overall, it is quite a nice green space where we can enjoy the scenery. And I hope you guys enjoy the scenery uh, that we have shown from the uh, glasses, the smart glasses. I'm going to take them off right now once more. But uh, of course, once more, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this broadcast has been brought to you by Telkom Cell's latest Hyper 5G broadband network technology, which has brought you this report and of course a fantastic location service which of course is very relevant to us Kai as you uh, rightfully and rather cruelly reminded me several days ago was a place where we got lost while we uh, were trying to make our way back from uh, the nursery of Ikaen back to Balikopan but thankfully uh, there are amazing location services now thanks to the 5G network and we are now more easily able to determine where we are and where we can go home to. Back to you guys. <laughs> Mezzi, thank you so much for the update. And, you know, I've been keeping tabs of what you've been seeing on your glasses right here on our live feed on our Instagram at C Today News. So thank you so much. For